Here's our next question. Let's say we have a 12 percent magnesium chloride solution, weight volume, and I want to express this in molarity. So what I want to do is kind of go about how we would go about breaking this down so we can figure this out relatively easy. Because all the information is right here. We just need to be able to manipulate it the way we want. All right. So let's write down what we know. We know that it's a 12 percent magnesium chloride solution. So what this is telling me is that there are 12 grams of magnesium chloride per 100 mils total volume of the solvent. All right. So this is very useful to me because I ultimately know that molarity is equal to the number of moles per liter or for vinyl volume of liter. So one of the things I can do here quickly is convert this to liters. So there's 100 mils here and one liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. So basically it's telling me there's 10 100 mils in 1,000 milliliters. Okay, so once we know there's 12 grams per 100 mils and we know we need to figure out molarity, which is moles per liter, what we can do is convert this 100 mils to a liter to get how many grams of the magnesium chloride we would need in actually a total volume of one liter. This, when we have the grams, we can then use to determine how many moles we have. So one way we can do this is if we have 12 grams of magnesium chloride, per 100 mils, we know that there's 1,000 milliliters per liter. If we do our math now, we can cross this out and cross this out. We would then take these two zeros and these two zeros and get rid of them. So essentially, to figure out how many grams of magnesium chloride we have per liter, we would multiply 12 times 10. In this case, that's going to be 120 grams of magnesium chloride per liter. All right. So this is useful information because now I can quickly then, once I figure out how many moles of this I have, enter it into this equation. So now our next question is, okay, 120 grams is how many moles? So remember, once again, we need to figure out the formula weight of magnesium chloride. So real quickly, we can make our chart again. We have the element. We have the number of atoms per molecule. And then the atomic mass. All right. So now we can break this down. And we got basically only two here. We only have magnesium and chlorine. And we have one of these and two of these, if we look at our formula, one of magnesium, one of the chlorine. And so now we need to figure out the atomic mass, and we're going to multiply it by those. So the atomic mass of magnesium is approximately 24, and the atomic mass of chlorine is 35. So this is going to equal to 24. This is equal to 70. So our atomic mass of one molecule of magnesium chloride is approximately 94. Now remember, this is equivalent to the number of grams per mole. So essentially we have 94 grams per mole of magnesium chloride. All right, once I know this number then, I can then figure out how many moles of this I have. And first of all, let's pay attention. 120 is larger than 94. All right. So I should, by just looking at this, know I have more than one mole of magnesium chloride. But let's go through the math so we can really kind of figure this out. So if I know that one mole of magnesium chloride is 94 grams, I can set up the proportion. I want to know x, basically how many moles I have when I have 120 grams of magnesium chloride. So if I cross multiply, I can move down in this direction. 
I will have 120 grams times mole is equal to 94 grams times x moles. I need to now solve for x, so I will dissolve, uh, divide both sides by 94 grams. This will then allow me to cross up my grams and I'm going to be left with moles. And then I'm going to have 120 divided by 94 is going to give me the number of moles in 120 grams of magnesium chloride. So once we do the math, this is equal to 1.28 moles in 120 grams of magnesium chloride. Right? I can then now take this number and implant it into our equation here. Right? So basically this is going to be 1.28 divided by a liter, so we're going to have a 1.28 molar solution of magnesium chloride. And now when we go back here, there's our answer.